Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have a neat show for you today. Um, we're going to be talking about survival spears today. I've got three I want to show you guys. First is going to be this Reaper survival spear. Pick this one up from Tractor Supply um, of all places. So it's got this molded sheath that comes with it. Got this nice, I want to say it's around an 8 inch blade there. It is very extra pointy as you would imagine from a spear. The blade edge itself is not very sharp, um, but it is very lightweight. It's got red knurls and stuff on the handle. It is a synthetic handle and seems rather wieldy, if you will. Um, number two spear it's very similar. Um, this is the United Cutlery M48 spear. You might have seen these if you guys are a fan of Bud K at all. It's got a very similar multi sheath, very similar blade. It is a tiny bit sharper, um, and the, the the point is not as not as pointy as that one. Um, the the handle. Is, does have the uh, finger grooves there for quick stabs, I guess. I don't know. And then grips here, grips here. Um, and it's, it weighs pretty much the same as that one. And thirdly is the Survivor. Um, I don't remember specifically what it's called. Uh, I picked this one up at Dunham's Sports. Um, but not every Dunham's carries this one. But it has a nylon, or a Chief. Uh, but this is much heavier. It's a much thicker blade, um, as you can see. It's not sharp on this side. It's only sharp on this side. Um, now this one, in fairness, I did sharpen with uh, an axe sharpening puck. But it's a much, this one also can unscrew into two pieces, and it does have hole there if you want to put something lanyard or whatever there um, but yeah so today uh, we're just gonna do what I'm gonna call a basic kind of test today's basic test as you will if you will um, is gonna be watermelon with pork ribs taped to it um, and what I'm attempting to semi scientifically not so scientifically show is if you were spear hunting for wild game how effective would each of these spears be um, and then we might do something later with that uh, after we're done looking at this meat and produce but anyway that's enough talking let's get stabbing so I know in the past uh, I've shown that I'm not the best spear thrower um, and I have done very little practicing with that um, since then um, and I apologize if this looks really bad or awkward. So I'm going to start with the Reaper Survival Spear and I guess I'm just going to do a close quarters jab. Um, I'll do that with each one and we'll see how far the blade goes in and then we'll do throws possibly if I can do it correctly. Time will tell. Alright, so it's a jab. Well it went all the way in. That was almost no resistance whatsoever. That was gross. M48 spear? Straight in. I know there's bones in this. Why am I not hitting them? It might be just going right in between two bones. And then big chunkies. Oh, hello. So that one felt like it hit bone. But it went through the bone. But it went a little under halfway. 
remind you, I wasn't striking full force. Um, had I gone full force, that probably would have gone into All right, so now that we've stabbed at our rib, watermelon ribs, let's see if I can throw it. All right, this is the Reaper Spear. That was very accurate. It went, it looks like the handle went in with it. Yeah, it kind of plunged in. Let's see the other one. A 48 spear. Missed. Did it graze it? All right, uh, M48 take two. Nope. <laughs> M48, take 27. <laughs> <laughs> All right. M48, take three. Well, I grazed it. He grazed it, but it did not penetrate. It cut the ribs and the watermelon. But did it penetrate? So it looks like it just, yeah, it looks like it just went through the side. All right, I'm going to move on to the next spear. And dead. That's lunch. You know, it's going to be really hard for me to pick a favorite if they all work. Like, I'm not even putting, like, a real amount of force behind it. It looks like the last one we did was actually quite better than the most of them. I'm also slicing up my teeth. Okay. So, you've seen me mess around with spears. Let's see what my daughter can do. Alright, I got... Spear in my head. Got. I like it. It's a nice spear. I'm gonna do a jab test because I'm not very good at throwing for each of them. Blade went all the way in. All the way in. I think because there's a there's a bone. so I don't think I hit the watermelon, but I do feel bone. Yeah, I hit bone. Yeah, that's bone right there. I think those bones are very uh, weak. Because that bone felt ripped. All right, this is the survivor spear. Big chungus. So I hit right here. It went through bone, because I feel bone in there. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I just grazed. I just grazed the watermelon. So, out of the three, whatever, um, out of the three, I would choose the M48, even though the tip did go dull uh, after a few tries, um, I would choose the M48. So, those are my three spears. Um, I, if I had to, just based on this test and this test alone and no other metrics, I would, I'm actually a big fan of the, uh, the Reaper Survival Spear, even though it is very similar to the M48 Talon. It seems that 
the blade. Whoever uh, whoever sharpened this or whatever. I imagine it's probably made by the same company. Uh, but this one has a much better tip to it. And when it comes to spears, the tip is all that matters as far as I'm concerned. Really, I, this this tip, I noticed as like you miss, it just dulled. Yeah, and I, then that one... It chunked the spear. Uh, that one just stayed sharp. Yeah, I hit a rock and it just snapped, snapped that tip right off. So I'm going to have to spend some time sharpening it with my axe buck. Um, this one, since it, the, the shape it is, uh, could be used for chopping if you had to. I don't know what you would need to do that with. Um, but this one is close to twice the weight of these ones. Uh, so if you were looking for a survival spear that was lightweight, I would lean towards one of these two. Um, like I said, they're probably made by the same person, just slightly differently. Um, and if you wanted something a little bit heavier with, some, uh, as I like to say, oomph to it, this one here. Uh, Price-wise, uh, this one is the most expensive of the three, as you could probably imagine. Uh, picking it up at Dunham's in store normally is around $100. which seems like a lot, considering what it is. But it is it is very well made. It's just not very sharp. Uh, what's it say? It's uh, stainless steel, so I don't even know if it's tool steel or standard stainless steel. Um, but time will tell as far as durability will go. I'm gonna take this out on some adventures and play with it some more. Um, yeah, so $100, I picked it up on sale for, I think it was 60 or 70 they were going to make a sale on it. Uh, so that, the M48 Spear is $70 from Bud K. And then the Reaper Spear, I got it from Tractor Supply, I want to say it was somewhere between 50 and $70. So these two are pretty close to the same price. And very close to the same design. Those, the, the M48 and the Reaper Spear, are not, you can't take them in half. So if you wanted, if you were carrying that in your zombie apocalypse ultimate end of the world go bag, you would have to either carry it in your hand or strap it to your pack. Whereas the Survivor Spear, you can unscrew it in half and carry it that way for a little bit of access, so to speak. So, uh, those are the spears I have to show you today. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope we get to take these out and maybe try some hog hunting with it or something similar. Um, yeah, and if you guys like this kind of stuff, please stick around. Play. So, post, post wrap up, when we're actually going through uh, the damage itself, and she's going to walk you through it. All right, so, so it did go through some bone. So there's a bone, a small bone here. There's a bone here. So these are some very tiny itty bitty bones. Um, there's a bone right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right there. And then this one just grazed the bone, but it did cut through bone. So I do believe that those spears are actually really good for going through bones. I do believe that they're good for hunting.